Hello, this is Pat Heater with Post Material Handling, May 1st, 2018, in Rock Tavern, New York. Your powder, our engineering. And we have our <coughs> uh, loading, sifting, blending, and discharging solution uh, for PPG Aerospace. Uh, so I'm going to run through all the basic operations, <coughs> show you how the equipment works, and then uh, uh, we'll get into a little more detail uh, in the operation. So we have <coughs> an operator terminal here, okay, a touch screen for operation of the blender and the sifter, and this will actually operate the lift as well. Uh, we have another set of controls on the lift here uh, that will uh, lift, lower, open the, the valve, all the operation you need for the lift, but it's also duplicated on the, uh, <clears throat> on the uh, touch screen here. So I'll go back to the main screen, to the lift screen, and these are the lift controls. So I will um, uh, unclamp the drum, <clears throat> and at this point you can hear a, a slight hiss in there. Okay, that is a nitrogen purge line, so this whole area uh, is being purged, and the, the product drum will be introduced, and you you remove the, the liner with this under a purge, a blanket of purge, well, approximately center the, uh, <clears throat> the drum in there, and then We'll press the, the discharge button. It'll clamp the drum. So it centered itself. It took a seat. And we'll go to the uh, discharge position. It's uh, automatically lift, invert. When it gets to the uh, prescribed height, it will automatically slew and lower into the discharge position. So just give that a minute. Uh, at any point, we get an emergency stop on either uh, operator station. Shut that down. So we're at the height. We're inverted. We slew over. You get a more clear view of the operator controls for the lift. Okay, so the post lift is in the discharge position right now. Um, <clears throat> this valve is closed. Uh, these valves are closed. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to purge the sifter. Uh, we want an inert atmosphere in the, uh, <clears throat> in the sifter as well. So I'm going to do that from my, from my phone. Okay, here's the sifter purge. Um, what's going to happen is it will close this valve uh, open this valve, uh, open the, uh, close the blender valve, deflate the blender seal, uh, and <clears throat> inner gas will travel all the way through here and uh, be expelled out uh, in the, the gap uh, of the inflatable seal of the blender. Okay, so that opened, that closed. You can kind of hear the hiss of the nitrogen purge going through and now it's coming, the, the gas is coming, the nitrogen in our atmosphere is coming out of that little uh, seal. Okay, this runs for a prescribed amount of time, uh, set on the main electrical panel. Okay, and it automatically closed this valve and this valve and now we have that contained atmosphere. All right, so I'm going to start the sifter. So sifter's running. Uh, these two valves are uh, oscillating, uh, almost like an airlock. It's going to let this volume fill up with material um, with this valve open. Then it'll close the, the lift valve, open the uh, inlet valve to the sifter. So you get a prescribed amount of material over time as to not choke the, 
the, the sifter. You can see the material flowing through here and then at a, a steady rate through here. Uh, in that period, the, uh, the, the blender seal has inflated and the blender valve opened, and opened as well. So it's kind of uh, error free for your operators. And uh, we have maybe, uh, I don't know, 60, 80 pounds of material in here. So the, the vessel is being filled at this point. Okay, looks like we, uh, we got just about everything out of there. I'll stop the sifter. Okay, so the sifter stops. Uh, this valve closes, this valve closes. Um, it, it shakes out a little bit. So there's a little more residual material coming out and then in about a second, this valve will close too. Uh, the reason why that delay is there is so we don't leave uh, material stuck on the top of the, the valve disc there. And there it goes. Okay, we'll go back to the main screen and we will go to the blend screen. And at this point, uh, we would uh, purge the vessel. And we don't have a vacuum pump hooked up to it right now, um, but the, the purging sequence, what it's gonna do, it's gonna close the butterfly valve on the, uh, <clears throat> on the blend vessel. Uh, it'll start the vacuum pump automatically. It will, uh, the vacuum, an isolation valve will open, allowing the, uh, <clears throat> the entire atmosphere inside of the vessel uh, be drawn out. Uh, there's a, a vacuum pressure transducer here. When it sees a, uh, <clears throat> uh, a full vacuum on the blender, it will shut off the vacuum isolation valve uh, and then purge backfill the entire vessel with a, an, inert, an inert gas with nitrogen. And then it'll, it'll do that whole sequence again. It'll do that three times until you have nothing in here but nitrogen. Okay, so we will, uh, so we, we purge, we'll start a blend cycle, oh. deflate the seal. If something goes wrong, it'll tell you, uh, um, tell you what button you're pressing incorrectly. Okay. Um, and we'll set this to a 17 RPM blend. And a blend time of one minute. We're not going to spend too much time on the blend cycle. Uh, you might uh, actually be doing a 10, 15 minute blend. But uh, <clears throat> so while it's blending, it tells you the time remaining. We got about 50 seconds left on the clock. Uh, this progress bar will move along. So at a glance from a distance, you can see where you are in the blend cycle. Okay, this is a tachometer feedback of the blender. Um, uh, and the actual position of the blender in degrees. So this is where you would adjust the blend time here, set to one minute, and that's the blend speed. It's set to 17 R RPM right now. And it's constantly monitoring the, uh, the vessel pressure. Okay, it's got 13 seconds left to go. Four, three, two, one. Okay, blend's complete. It'll rotate around automatically and stop in the uh, <clears throat> discharge position. Okay, so we'll grab a bag, a liner, and a drum. So we're gonna discharge uh, into a pail of approximately uh, uh, 20 pounds of material, or we can adjust the amount of material that uh, will be uh, discharged into the pail. So <clears throat> we have a liner. We're gonna want a, a, a slightly uh, extra long liner. And you put the pail underneath. This whole table is adjustable up and down. Um, it is a weighing surface. So uh, that's how it's picking up on the weight and how much material to put into the pail. So take your liner. And there's a gap in here. You pull the liner through the gap. And just, you know, a couple inches of extra liner through there. And we're gonna inflate this head right here to create a dust tight seal. 
So I'll do that right now. Um, filler seal. So that's filling up. And this is very tight. Uh, you're not going to get any material through there at all. And we will purge, purge the filler. So at this point, we're introducing nitrogen, inert gas, uh, into this ring here. It's going down through the filler head and, um, and also uh, here and coming out a vent in the back. Okay, so now this entire area uh, is full of inert gas. So we will tear the scale, okay? So our net weight is reading zero pounds right now and we're gonna change this to 20 pounds of discharge weight, okay? And we will start the filler. Oh, nope. We must uh, open the blender valve. Okay, if something is not in the right position to fill, it will alert you, it'll tell you what you're doing wrong. Okay, so I'll start the filler. Okay, so it's a rotary dosing valve right now. It, um, it's doing a coarse discharge, right? It got up to 16 pounds. Um, and now there's a fine dosing motor that is getting it to a, a very accurate um, final discharge weight. And it will automatically shut the, um, the, the dosing valve off at that point. So 19.8 pounds, 19.9, we're pretty close. Okay. So at this point, oh, 20.0, there we go. Um, it has inflate compensation for the material that's kind of still kind of uh, dribbling down the side of the bag. So we'll deflate the, um, uh, the head, okay? And now this liner is easily removed and we have our 20 pounds of material in the pail. And then you can uh, discharge the entire contents of the drum of the vessel by the same means.